if you need help building your team or selling your coins make sure you head on over to cheapmaticcoins.com for the cheapest prices fast delivery and 24-hour customer support and use code wolf for 15 percent off yo what's up everybody it's king wolf welcome to today's video today's video i'm going to show you guys three good pass plays to go along with the one play tds that i showed you in the previous video so if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel turn notifications on it's very important all right like the video let's try to get this one here 200 likes and then go check out the other video right before this i'll, I'll try to put it like on the end screen or something of this video but i'll show you how to pretty much throw a one play td on cover two and cover four defense but in today's video we're gonna break down a couple of the pass plays because they're very good. Now we are in the Atlanta Falcons playbook and I apologize if I sound sick still. My apologies, all right? Now, all I did was I took a tight end out. It's usually to a, the one next to my best uh, route runner in this formation from the deuce close and I put the fastest fullback or whoever you have the fastest in your depth chart that you can sub in right here. Right here, it's gonna be Ola Wally. So I'm gonna put him in that position right there the name of the first play that we're going to talk about you know actually break down one of these it doesn't really matter pa boot slide okay we can do cover two cover three doesn't matter actually you know what it's only good against cover two defense and all you're going to want to do is put a on a streak cancel the play action and then run it this way just like this and what you're looking for is you're looking for that corner route over here on the right side going to be open every single time against cover two whether they're playing over the top the shading over the top in clouds uh, the thing that will stop you as far as that corner route is if they blew out their cloud flat. Like, I play a cover five hybrid, so I will do that. But if they do that, then you have the Y route. So, like, literally, you could just hit this guy right here and get you some yards. And since it's Ola Wally, he's a little bit faster than the tight ends that we have in our depth chart. So, that's pretty cool. Um, right here, someone's going to be running three deep on you. And I'm telling you guys, I've told you guys in previous videos, I have played people that run three deep as their base defense. Like, it's literally 3d okay so a on a streak remember cancel the play action this is going to be ideal for cover two defense only if they're running a lot of cover two you're going to hit them with this you just want to hit this guy over here and then possess and catch it okay because i don't think you're going to have the time uh to execute that pass unless you do that so what's going to happen with this in the user is the crossing route is going to throw them off the crossing route will throw them off over the middle of the field and then you're just going to come over here with the b route every single time Man, we could have probably scored a TD, but we got a possession catch that or it's not going to be a completion. Okay, so that's that play. Very simple. It's kind of like uh, the other play that I showed you guys, and we're going to talk about that play as well. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and talk about it next. So if you need something to throw against cover three, I'm going to show you guys the route combination that you need to use against cover three. Uh, it works better. I don't have my second controller on, but it works better if they make adjustments. If they make adjustments in cover three where they're playing cloud flats and baselining and all that, the play will open up a lot more because when people make adjustments in cover three, they like take the seam flats away. So they take up the... the the man up assignments in cover three and the way cover three actually works. So it benefits you if they make adjustments. So PA misdirection, I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna run left to right. Uh, and then I'll show you guys how I throw it against cover three. Now, all you gotta do is take this to the lab and practice it yourself. So we're gonna set up a route combination that's gonna open up one of these routes every single time in cover three. So we're gonna motion Cooper over. He's the route we're gonna be looking for. We're gonna streak our tight end and put A or B, whichever you want on an in route. So if you think you need to block A, Block A, put B on the end route. We'll try both variations. Cancel the play action or keep it. I don't like play action in Madden 20. I've told you guys a hundred times in other videos. I guess I will so you guys can see what I mean. I think it's good that people that don't understand why I don't use play action, I'm going to show you guys why in this video, okay? Uh, and the reason behind that is because the defense gets a block shed boost on some plays. So right here, we're looking for the X route right over the middle. Going to be underneath that cover three every single time you're just gonna have to practice it yourself bro like, i've thrown this a million times so i know how it's gonna work matter of fact you need to cancel play action homies because i don't know the timing that it takes for him to finish this whole i guess i guess you could right over the middle nah you don't want to do that okay see no no cancel play action because it's messing up the timing of our throw so cancel play action uh good learning experience right here for for all of us a on the in route this is the combination we're going streak we're keeping the post route and we're using a we can actually uh shorten the post route by like a yard if it's first to ten and put them down to the first down line 
So right here, like I said, we cancel play action. We can hit this right over the middle, possess and catch that on the inside. You see how that guy follows in man? Whenever they start baselining and shading cloud flats and sticks and all that, that's not going to happen. He's going to be wide open. And that's what I mean. It's going to benefit you guys throwing these this route combination. Now, the only way for this route combination to be effective is if you're on the left hash and you're running the route combination to the left. If you're on the right hash trying to throw a left, it's not going to work. Trust me. It's not going to work. Oh, this guy's going to sack me, bro. Right here. Inside that cover three, every single time. You see what's going on? You see that? I already got a time in my head. I already know when he's going to be open. Right here, cover th uh, three deep. I'm just going to run the ball. And then try to arm bar somebody in the head. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, again, they're going to run three deep on us. Let me just go down. No point in keeping it going. Okay. Uh, a couple more times. Same crowd combination. I showed you guys the play that we're going to, you can use for cover four drop show two. Uh, on a one play TD, but if you need to get something open against cover three, this is the rock combination you want to use right here And let me explain to you guys what's happening. Okay, the rock combination uh, Because I do explain it in my videos and I think it's important for people that are new Okay, so we're trying to get our post rod open. What we're gonna do is put we're gonna uh, take Y on a streak He's gonna force blues to play blues All right, because if you have nobody in that vicinity that middle blue can stay down other blues can do what they want the A route is going to take care of linebackers, okay? If I don't use A, right, let's say I block him, okay? I want you guys to see what happens to the linebackers. They can play back. Look at how far back he's going. Make a play on the ball. Look at that, interception, okay? So it's important. Did I say that right? Important. And look at this guy's already an X Factor. To take care of the linebackers, we're going to put Y on the street, put A on the in route. And you're going to see that when we put A on the in route, the linebackers are forced to play the zone down. And this guy can possession catch. Like I said, he's going to be wide open when they make the adjustments. I'm not making adjustments in the backfield. It's it's playing stock cover three. So that's going to happen to stock cover three. It's going to be man defense. They're going to man you up like that. Uh, it's just the way it is. So one more time. This is ideal. So we have a cover two beater. This is ideal for cover three right here. All you got to do is get the timing down, like right over the middle. Boom. Look at that. Just that passing window. I, I threw that a little bit too early, but it is what it is. One more time. Okay. Because I, I got to make it. I got to make it a good one. And I use this rock combination in different formations all over Madden. So this isn't just the only formation that has it. Boom. Every single time. Just practice it, man. All right. Practice it. Okay. So the last play I want to show you guys is a, it's a classic play. Um, and I'm going to show you different ways that you can run it. It's going to be out of deuce close. And it's going to be the PAX post cross. You can run it right or left. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it'll work against pretty much every single defense in the game. You can run cover three, you can run cover two on it. And all you're going to do, actually, this is the play we beat cover four with, the B route. If you haven't seen the video, it's the previous one before this. Put B on, actually, you know what? It's not the video before this. It's two videos back. It's because I put the defensive video out. So we can run it stock. All we're going to do is put B on a streak. You can run it stock. But like I said, I don't like play action because they QB contain you. You're done. And all you're going to look for is this X route. He's going to get open in every single zone in the game. Or you can hit the flat route. So like you say you need, you know, quick yards. You can actually hit this, this route over here. But for the most part, it's going to be this guy over here. You know what I'm saying? Try to score a TD. Now, what's going to happen is your user, the person usering is going to probably pick up on it. Now, you can flip this play, right? And, and it, nobody switches. So you can put X on a streak. And then you can slant Y. Or actually put them on an in route. Keep play action if you want. You can hit RB, but you're looking for this guy over here. Okay? You're looking at you're looking for that crossing route. And against other defenses, man, I'm gonna show you guys right now. That route gets open in cover four, gets open in cover two. Everything it gets open in. I'll show you guys real quick. So if you want to throw this play, you can. Against cover two as well. Just streak B, okay? You can run it like that. You can keep play action. You can throw the RB route, like you see right there, I can throw the RB route. Boom, easy yards, homies. You know, I have the best route runner on my team running that route, so I feel confident in throwing that. Simple. Right here, I can throw this route, go up the field, boom, get off me, child's play, this is how we do it. Now, I will be using this uh, formation in some gameplay uh, coming this week, just to show you guys. Now, to throw the user off, what you're gonna need to do you're gonna have to flip the play left and right, but what also you can do is you can put like, like I said, the, the A and the in routes and stuff like that. You can also streak A if it's cover two, right? And then slant B. So you could have this look right here. 
boom 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 be over the top you see that right there right be boom playmaker over the top easy money if you, you gotta be a little bit more advanced for that all right I'm, I'm just i'm just showing off right now but i'm telling you guys you can do that because the user is gonna you, you streak a the user is gonna want to bite that that route over there to the left right he's gonna want to bite it let's be honest and you can just come over here with the slant route we just got we got b right here i mean off his head bro all right last time i'm gonna show you guys uh if you're gonna be looking for I, this is why i recommend you guys if you're gonna be looking for the slant route if you put if you're looking for the slant route to throw the user off what i would do if i were you i would take y right and put him on a, like a on an out route like this okay that's this is what i would do and this is how i would throw it if i were you guys boom the y route's taken care of slant comes over the left side of the field possession catch that so there it is, man. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.